Assalamu alaikum. This question is on work and energy. A block of mass 4 kilograms is moving across a rough horizontal floor where the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.6. If the, book, if the block slides for 3 meters on the floor and the thermal energy of the block increase by 30 joules, find the increase in the thermal energy of the floor. So clearly I have here a mass or a block sliding on a horizontal floor. And this mass is 4 kilograms and it slides for 3 meters and it's sliding on a uh, a rough horizontal floor, which means of kinetic friction, coefficient of kinetic friction, 0.6. Then, while it's sliding, there will be, a, 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 due to the force of friction, there will be increase in thermal energy. So this increase in thermal energy, delta A thermal, will be equal to the work done by the force of friction which is Fk multiplied by the distance of a slide D. And clearly that the Fk, so this will equal Fk equal mu k, coefficient of kinetic friction by force, normal force, multiplied by D. This is the change in thermal energy. So first I will find the total change in thermal energy, which should be equal splitted between, not equally, between the floor and the, uh, the block, then I will find the increase in the thermal energy of the floor by subtracting the total, uh, uh, by subtracting the increase in the thermal energy of the block from the total thermal increase in the thermal energy. So delta E thermal, the change in the thermal or the increase in the thermal energy due to the force of friction should equal the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force by the displacement or distance of a slide. So the normal force will equal to mg because it's a horizontal floor. So I have 0.6 multiplied by F normal, which is the mass mg multiplied by T, which is 0.6 by 4, 9.8 by 3 meters, and this will yield a value 70.6 joules. So this is the total increase in the thermal energy. So this is total. Now, the question said that uh, 30 joules went as increase in the thermal energy of the block. So delta E thermal should total should equal delta E thermal of the block plus change in the thermal energy of the floor. So, if the block gained 30 joules, then delta E of thermal of the floor will equal the total minus the change in the thermal or increased thermal energy of the block. So, it is delta E thermal uh, total minus delta E thermal block which equals 70.6 that I just found which is the total energy this is a conservation of energy minus the 30 increase in thermal energy of the block should equal 40.6 and this is the increase joules of course unit of energy this is the increase in the thermal energy of the floor thank you